All right, seven and a half gallons to fill it up. It's pretty good. Inexpensive fly-in. This is the fuel gauge, by the way, on this. So there's a cork, floats in the fuel. When the stick is up all the way, you got a full tank. When it gets down, you know you get low on gas. That's it, very simple. <laughs> Started back in 1983. Uh, some uh, there was a there was a guy in my uh, in my unit in the army when I was in Germany, and he gave me a private pilot study course, and I took the course. I read the course, read the book uh, over the weekend, and when I came back to the states, I started learning how to fly, and and uh, just kept on going from there. Not very many people have the opportunity to step into the world of learning how to fly, or step into the world of learning how to be a mechanic, but. If someone comes here to the airport who's never thought about flying in their life, of being a pilot or being a mechanic, by coming here and seeing small airplanes and maybe talking to somebody or going for an airplane ride, that becomes the stimulus. That's the trigger for them to actually envision a career in aviation. What's your name? Uh, Peter. Hey, Peter. Christian Chandler. Hi, Christian. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I so was just out doing one of my first cross-country solos. Well, good for you. Yeah. Well, someday, I, I can't stick around, but someday if you see me with it, grab my... Uh, oh, my God. I'd love to. Sure. Grab my shoulder, grab me by, and uh, I'll take you up for a ride. I would be freaking completely thrilled. That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Amazing.